làm thế nào cho nó hết cái bắp cải một cái lá bắp cải hai cái lá bắp cải ba cái lá bắp cải bốn cái lá bắp cải năm cái lá bắp cải chắc khoảng năm cái lấy năm cái lá bắp cải ra để muối dừa Hey guys, what am I doing with the cabbage leaves? Sauerkraut, Vietnamese sauerkraut, hey? Maria, this is my sauerkraut. I'm gonna make a cabbage pickles. Now the reason I leave five leaves instead of, you know, cut it into wedges and then just slice it because it's already layered for you, the cabbage does, it works. But I leave them, so I use only the outer leaves and the, uh, the, 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 the center of the cabbage, the heart of the cabbage don't get uh, exposed and get bitter over time. That's the reason I use leaves by leaves. Now, I grab some, um, almost say cucumber carrots. You can slice it if you like, but this one is easy too, so I was saying sauerkraut is October, it's October fest. German friends, how do you like sauerkraut and Vietnamese cabbage pickle? Vietnamese, living in German, Germany? Living in Germany. Living in Germany. I like Vietnamese sauerkraut. The uh, cabbage pickle. Sauerkraut. Just pickle. No cabbage flavor. No whatsoever flavor. <laughs> Sorry. You have to try my um, cabbage pickle first. Then judge, okay? And you still like yours and I still like mine. Um, seriously, it's nice. It's handy. You can pickle it, you can eat it within the day, you can eat it next day, or you can keep it like so sour, then have it in a week. Mình muối dưa bắp cải mọi người. Ở Đức thì người ta ăn có cái món và bắp cải muối chua 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 khủng khiếp cứ đến tháng 10 thì là người ta tổ chức tiệc kiểu bia rượu nhậu nhẹt các thứ và đến nhà hàng của Đức ấy là sẽ có món um, bắp cải chua truyền thống của, của Đức à, mình nói là không 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 muốn dùng cắt cả cái bắp cải cây bắp cải thì nó to ấy mình không muốn cắt ra làm uh, từng phần nhỏ xong rồi cứ thế thái luôn ấy thì dễ thế nhưng mà cái bắp cải to thì không để được lâu mà mở cắt nó ra như thế thì nó sẽ bị đắng phần ở giữa thế nên mình làm như thế này mình cắt mấy lá ra thôi xong rồi còn thừa thì xào Now, the reason Hanawian um, cabbage pickles special is because of the Vietnamese the flavor is awesome. I need some of these to pickle it with the cabbage. And unforgettable flavor, guys. I only use the stem for pickle it. The leaves, you can stir fry it. So I need the stem. That's why. Get my stem. I'm gonna give it a good wash. But, oh, you know, it go everywhere. Chưa có bao giờ đẹp như hôm nay. Non nước mây trời lòng ta mê say. Okay. Sung sướng quá mọi người ơi 
Ôi hôm nay trời không đẹp như mình tưởng nhá Không, 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 không I was singing There are not another Beautiful day like today Something like that But today is raining Feeling down So, cheer myself up By doing this Okay, now um, I have a little bit of um, warm, warm water In the jar Add the boiled water to the cold water, of course. Dissolve my salt first. I always estimate only, so don't follow my recipes. Taste to your own taste. So it's a little bit, a bit more salty than soup. So I'm gonna estimate one big heap tablespoon, and then taste it first. Now the the reason I put hot water first to dissolve the salt faster and then I have here the cabbage the Vietnamese celery if you can't find it don't beat yourself up for it don't worry um, it just gives the Hanoian flavor carrots to make the color a little bit sweet uh, a big like two knuckle size of the sliced ginger frozen use fresh fresh is the best mình dùng uh, gừng này tỏi này đông đá mọi người um, hành nữa hành cũng đông đá luôn and spring onion frozen too because i have frozen garlic frozen ginger frozen spring onion i have to use them i'm not gonna kill myself over a pickle so yeah usually uh, we mix it together, mix them together, all of them. Oh, actually, it's not dissolved yet. So I'm going to taste the salt yet first. Mm. Of course, it's salty. But because I used to it, so this is hot. I want to dissolve the salt, so I mix it uh, in hot water and taste it first, so I know how much um, I add. Because, you know. One part warm, hot, two part cold, but I have half part warm and then half part cold, room temperature, so that's why. It's not a tap water. So, here we go. Okay. Now, usually you mix them first. Me, I don't overwork myself, so I don't mix them first. I add a bit of these, a bit of that, a bit of these, a bit of that in the jar, and that's it. Done. Yeah. Frozen, frozen, guys. Frozen. So you don't want your water too hot, it's gonna cook the, the veggies. You want it pickled, not cooked. So it's a bit warmer than your body temperature. So you feel it? It's a bit warm. It's not hot. It's just warmer than 37, so 40 degrees, I think. You really gonna do that. Check your temperature. Add this um, cabbage in. Bit of celery. Bit of cab uh, carrots. Bit of ginger garlic and then keep doing that until you feel the jar up until I feel my jar up and I keep doing that keep doing that keep doing that then a bit of spring onion mix 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 see mix 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 like that. Making pickles. Okay, This is when I need a bigger jar. Spring 
on in. Mix, mix, mix. Red. Need more. even it's just like salad voila 